Hong Kong is open for business. Even amid the coronavirus pandemic, its economy and cultural activity have continued, thanks to quick action to control the virus spread and a lot of adaptation. Welcome to Spotlight. In this edition, we look at how Hong Kong managed to maintain operations by boosting online activity. We begin with what helps make Hong Kong a global crossroads, its trade shows. And yes, the show must go on. The pandemic did put the brakes on a number of events, but not for long. Hong Kong moved quickly and early to bring the outbreak under control. With only about 1,100 people infected and less than 10 fatalities as of June, in a city of 7.5 million, Hong Kong forged ahead. One event going virtual in July is Start Me Up. Usually a bustling conference connecting startups and investors, it's going online. Joining us is Jane Chan, the head of Start Me Up HK. Jane, how do you make it virtual this time and keep the same energy level? What we're trying to do is try to preserve the best out of the face-to-face -face interactions you get at physical events with the best of the, the virtual aspects of it. So we've got world-renowned industry figures who's going to be talking about a number of different subjects and areas such as smart cities, retail technology, AI, fintech, everything that Hong Kong is really strong on. But we're going to marry that with um, a job fair, for example, or one-to-one -one investor um, matching and business matching. So you just can't play basketball like you did last time. <laughs> we can't, no, unfortunately, no. But hopefully we can play some other kind of activities. Also supporting Hong Kong's startups is Cyberport, the city's leading incubator for more than 1,500 of them. All startups in Cyberport are getting a free uh, rental is a wafer, a subsidies from the government. As far well as um, the government is giving away also subsidies for people to keep their jobs, as well as creating new jobs. Our startups are actually reacting very fast as well. Indeed, they actually come up with a lot of solutions that help Hong Kong. One startup from Cyberport that is well positioned to help organizers adapt to the pandemic is Event Extra. It's organized thousands of on and offline events for leading companies like Alibaba, Siemens, and Honeywell. We're now with one of the founders of Event Extra, Soom Wong. Soom, why do you call this a golden moment for Event Extra? The event is the a frontline industry in the pandemic because um, all the events need to be on hold or canceled and just like airline or travels because we have a hybrid solution. So almost now 80% of our revenue actually is from the virtual event. And I would say the total revenue for Event Extra actually jumped more than 300% during this uh, pandemic time. It all started with an idea. We built a prototype for event management software and the, a lot of company and start to picking it up. At that time, we also uh, entered the Cyberport Incubation Program, and they helped us to find a few more investors. Hong Kong's cultural scene and its art market have been adapting online during the pandemic as well. The offline events are firing up again, though observing social distancing. With some help from Art Power HK, an online platform that began in the middle of the pandemic, now with more than 130 partners. Alice Mong is on the working group for Art Power HK. She heads Asia Society Hong Kong, one of the venues participating with Art Power. Alice Mong is joining us now. So, Alice, in Hong Kong, for Hong Kong, it was lockdown. What lockdown, right? We were never under a lockdown. So there were activations of uh, galleries, exhibitions, uh, events. We are working with the artists to make sure that their art is seen. Uh, or experience. Uh, maybe in this day of um, social distancing can't be seen live, but they can be seen on a, a digital platform. Hong Kong's cultural scene continues to grow in a big way. The M Plus Museum is completing construction and is scheduled to open next year. It's the latest addition to the sprawling West Kowloon Cultural District, built from the ground up. Every year we have something coming up uh, that's celebrating art and the voice of artists, and that's what's so exciting about um, Hong Kong's art ecosystem today. Thanks a lot, Alice. So like Alice says, stay tuned. That's all for now on Spotlight. Catch all our spotlights on Hong Kong on Euronews.com to find out more. From all of us on the Euronews team, we say, Dotse. thanks for watching, and see you next time.